Jill Ireland, beautiful actress, loving wife of Hollywood tough guy Charles Bronson, caring mother, bravely battling cancer, and finding the good things in the hard times. I love people. I really do love people. I think suffering brings out the best and the worst in you. It intensifies what you are. You have to move through it. I keep visualizing the future. Today is yesterday's future. Jill Ireland, a woman of courage. 11-year-old Jacob Wetterling lived with his family in St. Joseph, Minnesota. But here in the nation's heartland, the unspeakable has happened. On Sunday night, a masked gunman grabbed the youngster, and no one has seen Jacob since then. A massive search is underway, and tonight, his parents plea for his safe return. Who would take a child away from their parents? I, I couldn't fathom it. Let's go to a Hollywood premiere with Zsa, Zsa Gabor. It's Zsa, Zsa Gabor, as we've always known her. Famous for being famous, on her way to a Hollywood premiere. And now the Queen Bee of Beverly Hills is on her way to something much less glamorous, the local slammer. But she's not going quietly. I'd love to go to jail because I want to see the ladies there. Hello, everyone. I'm Ari Povich. Welcome to A Current Affair. This past Sunday night, 9 o'clock, did you know where your kids were? In St. Joseph, Minnesota, the Wetterling family thought they did. But their 11-year-old son, on his way back from a nearby convenience store, was abducted by a masked gunman. For four days, a massive search has been underway. Tonight, our David Lee Miller reports on that terrible crime that has brought terror to the country's heartland. St. Joseph, Minnesota is the type of town where folks don't bother to lock the front door. A two-hour drive north of Minneapolis, St. Paul, here, the police chief doesn't even carry a gun. But now, everything is different. Sunday night, just outside of town, 11-year-old Jacob Wetterling was abducted by a masked man with a gun. It is a crime that will forever change this community and one that has terrorized Jacob's parents. This shouldn't happen anywhere. It's the type of, it, it shouldn't happen anywhere. All I could think of was who, who would take a child away from their parents? I, I couldn't fathom it. It is total shock, total disbelief. Even uh, in, in talking with the uh, sheriff's department here, uh, it's, it's, uh, they seem to be as, almost as, as, amazed, as amazed as we are. We've taught him that people are good. We've worked for peace all our lives, and this is a real violent act, and I don't understand it. He's bright. He's got a real clever sense of humor and quick mind. He's very... Um, He's, he plays goalie. He's, he's cool under pressure. He's, he, all these things give me hope that if there's an opportunity, this boy will be home. Is he a survivor? He's a survivor. Jacob's disappearance is especially shocking because he was with his 10-year-old brother, Trevor, and an 11-year-old friend, Aaron Larson, when the abduction took place. According to the boys, they had just leased a videotape from this convenience store and were walking their bicycles down this road when suddenly a masked gunman appeared out of nowhere. We were coming down this road here and we were just talking and everything and then this guy he just came out and he had a gun and it, look, and it didn't, it, I thought it was some kid pulling a prank on us or something and then he, but it wasn't and then he told, he looked at Trevor and he told Trevor to turn off his flashlight and then he told us he had a gun and he told us to turn around and go over into this ditch and put our bikes in there and lay down. Then he came over and he, he um, asked us all our ages and then he, he told Trevor to run as fast as he could into the woods or else he'd shoot. Then he looked at me and then he grabbed Jacob and he told me to run as fast as I could into the woods or he'd shoot. What did this man look like? Well, he was wearing, he was all in black. He had a mask on and... You couldn't see his face? Uh-uh. He had, he had a nylon mask or some kind of mask. Did Jacob say anything to the man? Uh-uh. Just, just his age. When you ran, did you look back? Yeah, once we got way down there. What and did then, you see? 
Nothing. No, he wasn't there anymore. Here at the County Communication Center, authorities have received more than 300 tips. And while so far nothing has panned out, they continue to be optimistic. Jacob will soon return home. An awful lot just depends on the type of person that we're dealing with that, uh, that abducted the boy. Uh, some of them keep him around for quite a while, some of them don't. Uh, so we're hoping that this type of person is going to uh, keep Jacob alive and uh, somewhere along the line that he's going to get a chance to get to a telephone or get away from him. Despite a massive effort in the air and on the ground, police have few clues and don't even know what type of car Jacob's abductor used to flee the scene. Residents are understandably terrified and say children here in St. Joseph have lost a part of their youth. I know my little boy, he's five, and he won't go outside. Yesterday, he didn't want to go out and play, and he was up last night, and it's, you know, it's scary for the kids. Anybody, really. The Sheriff's Department, meanwhile, has established this command center to coordinate assistance from state investigators and the FBI. But despite all the manpower, authorities do not know why the boy was taken. So far, there has not been a demand for ransom, and the family has never received any type of threat. Dr. Wetterling is a chiropractor in town, who in this predominantly white, middle-class community heads up the local chapter of the NAACP. They are kind, gentle, caring people who want nothing more than the return of their son. Can you think of any reason anyone would want to harm your family or your son? No. Nothing. I would only say that we really want Jacob back for Jacob's sake, for our sake, and for everyone's sake. Please, give him back to us. There are so many people praying that if I were God, I would bring Jacob home safely very soon. Tonight, the Wetterlings are asking for your help in locating Jacob. In a moment, we'll give out a special phone number. But first, here's the FBI profile of Jacob's abductor. They believe he's a white male between 25 and 35 years of age and may have attempted a similar but unsuccessful abduction in the recent past. Anyone who may have any information about Jacob's abduction is asked to call the Sheriff's Department Task Force at 612-259-3981. There is a $25,000 reward for information leading to his safe return. All tips will be kept confidential, and you can call Collect. Once again, the number, 612-259-3981. Maury, I hope this is one story that's going to have a happy ending. Let's hope so. Thank you very much, David. Now, Jill Ireland is a woman of great beauty, great talent, and great courage. She is now battling for her life. And we'll be talking to her next. And a little later, it's the Zsa, Zsa we haven't seen yet, the vintage Gabor. Miss Hungary becomes misdemeanor. She's not shy about talking about her crime and punishment either. Your Hyundai dealer invites you to test drive the all-new 1990 Excel and get more car than you paid for. Get more car than you paid for, right? Take, for instance, this new four-door. It's got 20% more power, more room inside, mm -hmm. plus you get air conditioning, automatic, stereo. Right. So? So, this Excel with all that costs less than most other cars with none of that. Right? I'll drive. Hurry into your Twin City Hyundai dealer where you can still get factory-to-dealer incentives on 89 Hyundais still in stock. Everybody knows that milk's for babies. So charming, disarming, whatever they do. Everybody knows that milk's for babies. And wouldn't you know it, baby? Milk's for you. Soft baby skin, strong baby bones, bright baby smile, and ooh, great muscle tone. Wouldn't you know it, baby? Milk's for you. It's a health kick, baby. Four Pepsis, four hot dogs, a tub of popcorn, and four North Star tickets for $42.50 equals KSTP Family Night with the Minnesota North Stars. Your family can make a great save on Family Night when the Stars battle the Flyers at the Met Center on October 28th. Purchase tickets at the Met Center or call 989-5151. From mini skirts to Vietnam to tie-dye shirts, the resurgence of the 60s. 
tomorrow morning at 9, only on Channel 5. Old man winter is already battering many parts of the United States, so the time to get to Burlington Coat Factory is now for the first choice of the largest selection of winter coats and jackets in the country. What every member of your family needs to keep warm, no matter how cold it gets. And because Burlington is famous for low prices, you can get your new winter coat at the lowest price imaginable. That should make you feel warm all over. Burlington Coat Factory, America's number one place to save on the coat you want. Our Cindy Adams has many friends in show business. But the other day, she met with one of them, Jill Ireland, whose life these days shows as much about guts as it does about glamour. Cindy? Thanks, Maury. Jill Ireland is blonde. She's beautiful. She's a Hollywood actress. For 20 years, she's been married to movie star Charles Bronson. She and Charles have a great love, a great marriage, also a great problem. Half a dozen years ago, Jill was diagnosed with cancer. She's been in and out of hospitals. She's had a mastectomy. Jill Ireland is my friend. I love her. It has nothing to do with this particular piece. It's just that she's in the hospital right now, right at this minute, and I want her to know I love her. Jill was in New York this week to plant a perpetual garden of hope in Central Park. The hope being that the Strang Cancer Clinic, a nonprofit organization which funds breast cancer research, will find a cure. Until six years ago, Jill's life was blessed. It was husband Charles Bronson and their children and their career. Jill's last movie was Assassination with Charles, 1987. Are you all right, Mrs. Craig? I think so. And she has written books. The last, Lifelines. The first, Life Wish. A message of hope to cancer patients. Yeah. About a year ago, Jill and I spoke about her illness. I just was conscious of this fear. I have cancer. I am going to die in terrible agony. We spoke again this week for only a few minutes about all the energy Jill could muster. And immediately after this gala day in New York, where do you go? Do you go back to tomorrow? the hospital? Yes. Um, tomorrow I go to Arlington um, Cancer Hospital for and um, some tests and some treatment. And how long are you there? Hopefully five days. But the last time I went there for three days, I ended up there three weeks, so you never know. Isn't it so that you've just undergone multiple surgery? They had to, to take away my um, pericardium. I, I think that's what you call it. Am I correct, Marie? I had accumulated water in the pericardium. That's around the heart? Yes, around the heart. Quarter, the yes, sac quarter and a half of water around my heart and a quarter and a half of water in my right lung, um, which weighs, I think, about 17 pounds. So if you can imagine walking around with 17 pounds of water in your chest, um, wasn't too comfortable. What's a normal day for you these days? Um, there is no normal day. I go day by day. Um, I like to get up and um, take my dogs for a little walk. I love that walk my dogs. If I'm up to it, I love to ride my horse and um, see my friends, write, read. And the treatments, are you still on chemo? I'm going back there to have some more chemo. Yes, I am. Is that what, is a, is that what has to do with your weakness? Does that exhaust? Yeah, I'm, I'm suffering from the treatment right now. That's why I'm tired. But I feel better today than I felt in weeks. I felt really good today. Is Charles an involved husband? At oh, a time certainly. Like this? Um, the last time I was there, we, we had a, a room with two beds in it, two-person room, and he stayed with me. He slept there, used it as a hotel. You told me that this kind of uh, curtails your life activities, uh, and you're trying to not curtail them or alter your life as much I as possible. I don't like cutting things out. Nobody does. Yeah. So I try to do, you know, as many things as I can because I enjoy them. You've written a lot of books, Jill. Successful ones. Are you still writing? Yes, I am. I'm ri I always write two at a time, a fiction and a biography. I'm writing my fiction more right now than my biography. What's the fiction? Does it have a flick of your own life in it? Uh, I think you write what you know, but it's not about me at all. 
Not at all. Are you going to tell us what it is about? It's too complicated, but the heroine's name is Banna. Banna as in Vanna White with a B? No, B. <laughs> Banna. Like a banner. Oh, B-A-N-N-E-R. Yes. Oh, I see. What about your children? How do they handle your problems, your illness? They live their lives. And um, uh, people use the word handle a lot. And I don't really understand it because you don't handle something. You just live your life. It's like what you've got on your plate. You, you handle it. You know, I'm, I've used it now. Yeah. You, you go day by day, one day at a time. I've sent you several letters, you know, that come from fans who've read about your condition in my column. People write letters yes, of love yes. to you. I have wonderful letters. I keep them in a big antique wooden box. And it's overflowed one box. But I can't throw them away because some of them are so beautiful and they are meaningful. And they, they mean a lot to me anyway. And they hold energy. I remember you're telling me that you work crystals because they have healing properties. Do you still? I've got one on. What does, uh, what does the crystal imply? And this, for me, um, I didn't wear them for a while. I think, well, you know, I've told you before, they're the only thing that are piezoelectric. And they're capable of holding and storing an electric current. Um, I think they give me energy. Jill, are you angry at this point in your life? No. I've, I've been much too fortunate in too many ways to be angry. People who know you well always talk about your great sense of love, that you're very loving. Has some of it come from suffering, or is, are you just a very loving individual? But I, I don't think... I, I'm, I, I, love, I love people. I really do love people. I think suffering brings out the best and the worst in you. It intensifies what you are. I, I don't know if it's made me more loving, but I've always loved my friends and my family very, very deeply. Jill, love, when you're out of the hospital, call. We'll do lunch. Maury? Thanks, Cindy. Now, coming up next, a Gabor we haven't seen in a long, long time in her prime at a premiere after this. Introducing the 1990 Acura Integra, an automobile that can make getting there considerably more than half the fun. Now you can get Domino's Pizza Doubles every day. You've got two delicious choices. Two custom-made original Domino's pizzas or two freshly baked pan pizzas. So take your pick, then pick up the phone and call Domino's Pizza today. Call now for two delicious pizzas for one terrific price. Two original cheese pizzas starting at $7.95. Domino's Pizzas doubles every single day. Nobody delivers better. What's a good value in the heartland? Chevrolet value. 1990 S10. More standard features. Bigger available engine. More horsepower. Compare at your Heartland Chevrolet dealer. Now get extra value. Up to $1,600 in cash back and down payment assistance on new S10s. Another Chevy winner at the Heartland Chevrolet dealer nearest you. Get the good value this week. Savers this Halloween for unusual costumes no man has seen. Savers has everything to make you creepy for cheapy this Savers. Halloween. <laughs> Come to Savers. Three great ways to spend the day with Light FM 103. WLTE. Turn on the light at home. Great company anytime. <laughs> 
no matter what you're doing. And WLTE is perfect at work. Everyone agrees on the light music. And your work day will go by just a little faster. And WLTE should have a button on your car radio. Then there's one for news, one for the kids, and one for relaxing light music. Three great ways to spend the day with the light FM, WLTE. Let's go to a Hollywood premiere with Jaja Gabor. Preparing for a night on the town is arduous for any woman, but for gorgeous Jaja Gabor, this is a special night, and extra care must be taken to highlight her exquisite features. We're in the private confines of Miss Gabor's boudoir. She readies herself before attending the gala premiere of the motion picture Dr. Zhivago, a major event in Hollywood. Clothes make the woman, and Jaja does a great deal for her clothes, as seen in this exclusive gown, of avocado with crystal trimmings. The plunging back line is a feature. A beautiful woman is distinct by her perfume scent. And tonight, Jaja will be very distinctive. How do you like this one, darling, she asks. Do you think it covers too much of the gown? Which do you think Jaja will wear? And which would you choose? You're escorting Jaja tonight. You be the judge. Hair is in place, makeup is perfect. Jaja is her usual beautiful self. The chauffeur-driven car is waiting at the door, and we all leave for the theater in Hollywood. California nights get chilly at times, and a pause for a red light is a cue for a short nip. Just keep the cold weather out, she says. Of course, she drinks to your health, darling. Jaja arrives at the theater to the loud cheers of waiting fans and flashing lights of the press photographers. She's seen by millions of television viewers. It's the duty of glamorous stars to sign a few autographs and personally greet her fans. The stars keep coming in. And actor Robert Vaughn, Richard Chamberlain, uh, Ronald Reagan. Our Lady of the Evening, Jaja Gabor, enters the theater and through the Hollywood backstage camera, you accompanied this very exciting and glamorous stars to a gala Hollywood premiere. I think I need an airbag. You say you're not satisfied. You say you want more for your money. Tell you what I'm going to do. This one little outtake we didn't show you yesterday from Shea Gabor. I must have some jet lag left in me for allowing Gabor once more. Now, there is a possibility, Zsa, Zsa yes, according to the judge, that you're going to have to leave this, these marvelous, beautiful, lovely surroundings of Bel Air for three days in the county jail. It's not so terrible. I come from Hungary where there were the Nazis, there, there was also the communists. I don't always live like that. At home, we had a beautiful house. You don't mind going to jail for three I days? I would love to go to jail because I want to see the ladies there. There must be some other innocent women there. If they put me in jail, I'd like to talk to them. Maybe her husband would then beat them up, and she tried to beat him back. They put her in jail, or like that poor Garvey case, where she didn't want her husband to see her children. Cindy Garvey? Cindy, because he has very bad publicity lately, and she's raising two beautiful girls. She's a friend of mine. I love her. So I mean, so, so you consider yourself too. you consider yourself the innocent woman I having am, to go to jail. I'm not an innocent woman. I'm an innocent victim in this one case. I would hate to be an innocent woman. That's boring. And you have to leave this place, 120 community hours. So big thing. I will feed the homeless, which I done last year. They love me. They all kissed me. But I would like Mr. Ira Reiner who is the district attorney of California. That's right, in, in, If he in calls Los me Marie Antoinette, then he should out of his he own. He calls you Marie Antoinette? Yesterday, he says he's afraid that Marie Antoinette, I will be like Marie Antoinette. Then he should buy every homeless a, a pie, a pumpkin pie for Halloween, but out of his own pocket, not of our taxpayers' money, because he makes 200000 a year, so he can afford it, he and his wife, actually. Enough. We'll be back. <laughs> Pulsing, throbbing pain. When doctors were asked what they take more often for their everyday pain, Tylenol, Extra Strength Tylenol, Advil, or Bayer, more doctors take Bayer. For pain, Bayer is the wonder drug that works wonders. Facing the world with a cold sore can be very embarrassing. So from the first tingle, I use Camphophonique Cold Sore Gel. It goes to work instantly on my cold sore. Camphophonique Cold Sore Gel helps me face the world. 
Our most devastating earthquake since 1906 rocked San Francisco last week. Here in this week's People, as only People tells it, the heroes who sprang to save their neighbors. This week, the shock and aftershock. People, that's what we're all about. Got great curves? Great curves deserve. 18 hour. Playtex 18 hour bra. Supports full figures more beautifully. Comfortably. Great curves deserve. The 18 hour bra. From Playtex, the fit that makes the fashion. Tonight, it's shelter for a stranger. Those are whip marks. That man was a slave. We're in pursuit of an escaped slave. I ain't never asked nobody to fight my battles for me. You don't have to ask. The posse Missouri State Militia headed this way. Hired guns in uniform. It won't be a gunfight, it'll be a massacre. Where are you? The Young Riders. Ah! Just announced, Excitement Countdown has been extended at your Pontiac Excitement Dealers. Now get huge new dealer incentives on every, every remaining 89 Pontiac. This is your best chance to save thousands on the hot-selling Pontiac you've always wanted. Grand Ams, Grand Prix, Sunbirds, Bonnevilles. Every, every 89 Pontiac available now with huge last chance savings. When they're gone, they're gone. So hurry, it's the final 89 closeout. It's Excitement Countdown at your Pontiac Excitement Dealers. Unspeakable claim about what really killed the king of rock and roll. I clearly state that Elvis Presley committed suicide. Elvis's kid brother speaks out for the first time about the private misery of the king. Now, a typical night with Elvis was uh, 33 sleeping pills and nine shots of Demerol. Elvis's brother shocking claims about what happened the night Elvis died. Elvis, what really happened? That's on our next edition of A Current Affair. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Until next time, America. I got the call in the middle of the night. My father was in intensive care. I had to be on the next plane to Chicago. I needed more credit on my Citibank visa. He immediately called the Citibank 800 number. He told me he needed emergency credit, and he told me why. She got $600 approved at 3 in the morning. Citibank was there when I needed them, so I could be there when my father needed me. Not just visa, Citibank visa. <laughs> With low rates on airfares and hotels, nobody gives you more places to turn up than MLT. And nobody but MLT can give you a worry-free vacation. No matter where you turn. These days, it seems a dollar won't stretch as far as it used to, unless you go to Dairy Queen. For a limited time, you can get our homestyle double burger for just 99 cents. Two big beef patties, juicy and delicious. So try the 99 cent homestyle double burger at Dairy Queen and see just how far a dollar will stretch. We treat you right. I always thought I'd know when the right person came along. Let's party. I always thought I could tell when true love hit me. I just thought it'd be more romantic. What do you say next time we just talk? Why? Like moonlit walks. <laughs> a dozen roses. Who was it that said love hurts? Mark Harmon. <laughs> Worth winning. Rated PG-13. Starts tomorrow. Check newspapers for listings. How do I join PHP? Call 936-1643. But I'm self-employed. No problem. We cover individuals, too. Choose PHP. Join Channel 5's Bering Bridge Expedition, Monday night at 7, 